What's up guys, welcome back and in this video I'd like to deploy our application onto a server. We've made a lot of progress in our app and at this point I think I want to put it up on a live server. So come and join me for this process. So I'm going to be using Laravel Forge for this process. Forge helps so much when managing servers. I for one am not the greatest with DevOps and server side stuff and I rely on Forge heavily for all of my servers. So as you can see, I'm logged into my account here. Um, if you've never used it before, you have to attach your DigitalOcean credentials as well as your version control credentials. But I've already done that, so let's go ahead and put our application on a new server. So I'm going to use DigitalOcean for this. And let's name it Laravel e-commerce and the server size I'll just put it at the smallest one. DigitalOcean just updated their pricing the other day so the smallest one is actually pretty good. Region, Toronto, PHP version 7.2 is fine and yep let's go ahead and create a server. And let me just copy and paste this. It's also going to email it to us when it's done. This will take about 10 to 15 minutes, so I'll be back when it's done. You can actually see it provisioning right here. Alright, it looks like it's done. Um, let's hit this button to see if it works. And it looks like it does. Let's grab this IP and hit it in our browser. And that's the default page that shows up. Cool. Uh, if we also go into my email, you'll see that a public key was added into my GitHub and Bitbucket from within Forge. So Forge and GitHub can communicate. So let's go ahead and add our application as one of the sites for this server. Let's use the default one for now, and then later on I'm going to add a domain. So we're going to connect my Git repo, and the GitHub repo is this one, so it's Trey himself slash Laravel e-commerce example. Let's grab that, and let's install the repo. All right, that's done. Let's go ahead and deploy it. Okay, let's see if that worked. Refresh. And there we go, there's our application. So there's no data in here yet because we have to seed it. Remember we have a seeder in our application. So let's go ahead and SSH into our server and run that seed. So let's do SSH. Actually, let me open a new tab. SSH, it's going to be forge at, we need the IP, it's this IP, we'll connect it to a domain later, so, yeah, that should work, and I did that on purpose, we have to add our public key into Forge every time we make a new server. So let's go ahead and do that. So our public key is in, uh, where is it? Home slash dot SSH ID underscore RSA dot pub. So let me just grab that. Let's go into our Forge. Uh, let's click on our server. So this one, let's go to SSH keys, and I'll just name it MacBook, and let's paste that in. Okay, that's done. Now we can SSH in, hopefully, and we're good. So if we look at the directory structure, 
One thing I always do is install a package for the terminal called uh, oh my Z shell. So let's go ahead and do that. So we can just use this curl command here. Let's do that. Let's do it. And our password is in our text editor. Okay. Cool. It just looks much nicer in my opinion. So if we look at our directory structure, uh, the default is the site we want to go into and we want to seed our database. Sorry, CD default. And now we can do a PHP artisan DB seed to seed our database. And let's just say yes. It's just warning us, but we know what we're doing. And so that seeded our data. If we go back to our app, this should have data now. Awesome, it does. The next thing I want to do is connect a domain instead of using this IP here. So Let's go ahead and do that. The domain registrar I use is called $10.ca and I've been using them for years. They're, they're pretty good. My only complaint is that when you want to modify advanced DNS records, uh, the UI is a bit clunky and it's kind of hard to find, but not to worry because we can actually just point the main DNS to DigitalOcean and DigitalOcean can handle the advanced DNS from there, which is what I do for most of my sites. So we're going to get real practical here. I actually bought a domain, this one, Laravel e-commerce example.ca, and we're going to use that one. So uh, as you can see, here's the DNS, the default DNS for it. Let's go ahead and change that. And I have to log in. Okay, so where is it? Here, DNS information. Let's go ahead and, and we'll change it to ns1.digitalocean.com and let's do that for two and three. What? I thought I copied it. Two and three. And let's update that. Okay, now DNS can take anywhere from 24 to 48 hours to fully propagate. But in the meantime, we can set up our DNS records within DigitalOcean and we can also set up our site in Forge. So when it does propagate, so if you go to our site, Laravel e-commerce, sorry, it's no dash, e-commerce example.ca Right now, it's just pointing to the $10.ca DNS. But once it's done propagating, it should point to our server. So let's go ahead and go into DigitalOcean and set up our records there. So if we go into networking, uh, let's enter a new domain here. Let's call it Laravel eCommerce example.ca okay let's add the domain and let's add a few things here let's add a few a records so the first one is just that should point to this okay The next one, let's just do a catch all. So star is fine. There about e commerce. And let's set a C name record. Let's set it to www. And for the alias, 
at create. Now let's go into our forge site. Uh, go back to sites. Default. Let's go ahead and delete this one because we're going to make a new one. Delete it. And the new one's going to be called Laravel e commerce example.ca. That's good. That's good. And let's add that site. Okay, let's go into it. And let's put our GitHub repo in here again. So it's going to be Dre himself slash Laravel e commerce example master install competencies okay okay that's done let's deploy it and now all we have to do is wait for the dns to propagate unless it already did let me just refresh this no it didn't yet okay so i will be back when the dns propagates a few moments later so that was actually pretty quick the DNS has propagated and our site is up. As you can see, our products are seeded because we already did that before and the database server is obviously the same. So a few more things I wanna do. The first thing is I wanna set up HTTPS and Forge makes that really, really easy. So let's just go into our site here, go to SSL. We're gonna use Let's Encrypt because that's the easiest way to do it. And let's go ahead and obtain a certificate. Okay, that seems to be done. So we can go ahead and activate it. And that's active. Go back here, refresh. Boom, SSL. How simple was that? Now the next thing I want to do is show you how to connect to your database using SQL Pro, if you're using SQL Pro. Uh, so let's go ahead and make a new connection here. Let's call it Laravel e-commerce example.ca. Okay, so we're going to use SSH. And the host is the same as this. Username is forge. Password is in our text file. Actually, no, that's not the password. The database password is in my email somewhere here. Uh, here. Okay. And we'll leave that. And I believe the host is that users forge SSH password is we have to go into our directory. So SSH, there it is. And make sure you give it the secret key. Okay. And let's test the connection. Yes. And it seems to have succeeded. Let's go ahead and connect. And there's our database. There should be a database in here named Forge. And there it is. And this is our schema from our application. There's our coupons. There's our products. Awesome. So the last thing I want to do is just show you the workflow of how to deploy code. So let's go ahead and update these two. In our code, I want to make this point to the YouTube series and I want to make this to link this to the actual link. So let's go ahead and do that in our code. Okay, so is this the right one? Yep. So it should be in landing page. Yep. So GitHub. Okay. Let's change this to screencast. And let me just grab the URL from my YouTube. Paste that in here. 
and for the GitHub, it's here. Sorry, GitHub's right here. Let's go back to our code. And let's open our terminal. Let's just do a git status, okay. I'm gonna add this. I'm gonna name it part seven deploy to forge. And I'm gonna push it. Okay, back to forge. Uh, back to our site. And I didn't set up quick deploy, but you can turn that on if you want. And that's going to deploy every time you push. I like to press the button manually. So let's deploy it. Okay, back to our site. Let's refresh and see if this updates. And it does. So this should link to our YouTube and this should link to our GitHub. Let's make sure it does. Cool. Cool. So I was testing if the Stripe payments went through on our new server here and I was presented with this error after I submitted the form. So let's go ahead and see what the problem is. So let's SSH into our server, forge at Laravel e-commerce example.ca. And we can look at the logs because since this is in production, it's not going to show us the error. So the log, let's just go into our thing there. So if you go into storage, uh, logs, there's a file called laravel.log. And if you scroll down, so there you can see right here, the Stripe API key is not defined. So let's go ahead and add that. So we just have to go here and then we just have to put it in our environment file which I'll do behind the scenes because I don't want you to see my Stripe API key. Okay so I've added it behind the scenes let me just fill this out and we can try again. Let's complete the order. Okay this time looks like it worked. Let me just double check Stripe and there it is right there. Cool. So there you have it guys, we've managed to deploy our application on a server using Laravel Forge. I think I'm going to stop it there. We'll explore a few more server related things in the next few videos. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already done so. Thanks for watching, I'll see you guys in the next one. Okay, thanks, bye!